Last week's weather was dominated by high pressure and gloomy skies. This week's weather is still dominated by high pressure and so a lot of dry weather around. But this week's high is what as meteorologists like to call a cleaner high. It's not so cloudy. Under this area of high pressure, a much better chance of seeing some brighter skies, certainly for the first half of the week. But of course, clearer skies at night at this time of year lead to frosts and fog. And certainly close to the middle of the high, Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland, Northern England, North Wales, likely to see some fog patches to start Tuesday and temperatures will be close to, if not a little below freezing. There's also a bit of a breeze strengthening around the high across uh, parts of East Anglia and Kent, and that will just generate a few showers feeding in from the North Sea, parts of Essex and Kent in particular seeing those showers, maybe one or two for uh, uh, Suffolk and perhaps even into the London area at times through the afternoon. But for most places, it's a dry day. Many places fine with lots of sunshine, quite a bit of cloud at times over central and eastern England. And that fog could stick around in one or two places. If it does, temperatures are really going to struggle across parts of Northern Ireland, southern Scotland. But where we see some sunshine, we should get to double figures. Temperatures about pretty close to the average for the time of year. Feeling a little cooler, though, with that brisk breeze uh, across the southeast. As we go through Tuesday night and into Wednesday, the high is still very much in control, but a weather front is just toppling in around the uh, north. The isobars opening up a little across the southeast, but still there'll be a, a noticeable breeze along some southern counties. Uh, a bit more cloud at times here as well, but generally a drier day for that southeastern corner. Again, Northern Ireland, southern Scotland, northern England may wake up to fog and frost along with parts of Wales, but it, it should clear as cloud increases as that that weather front pushes in. That'll bring some patchy rain initially to northern Scotland, pushing south down towards the Glasgow area by the end of the day. But again, for most places, it's dry. A good part of England and Wales seeing lengthy spells of sunshine during Wednesday and temperatures close to the average. The high pressure just showing signs of slinking away a little to the west by the time we get through Wednesday night and Thursday. That weather from pushing south is fizzling out, but it'll still represent a zone of cloudier weather with maybe a little drizzle on it as it trickles across England and Wales. So a duller day for the Midlands, Wales for sure on Thursday compared to Wednesday. Perhaps turning a bit brighter come uh, the middle part of the morning into the afternoon over southern Scotland and northern England. We'll keep a lot of cloud across the far northwest, some light rain and drizzle likely here. But for many, again, it'll be a dry day with some brightness and light winds not feeling too bad at all as we see those temperatures maybe creeping into the teens. But for most places, 10 or 11 will be the uh, top temperature. Now, by the time we get to Friday, we've still got high pressure well and truly in control. But just to the north, signs of things changing. The isobars squeezing together again. And this weather front is going to mix things up as we head towards the weekend for sure. Still, for most places, that high pressure will bring a, a dry day. Again, quite a bit of cloud around, but we should see perhaps something a bit brighter compared to Thursday across parts of Wales, the Midlands and southern England. Here comes that weather front. A zone of wet and quite windy weather for a time. Could get quite lively, the gusts, late in the day across northern parts of Scotland. Ahead of it, temperatures again, 10, 11, maybe 12 Celsius with a little bit of sunshine. But that weather front is really going to mix things up as it uh, slips further south during Friday night and into Saturday. It opens the door to the winds whooshing down from the north. That's going to bring cold air, of course. So if we rewind the clock and put the temperature profile on, you can see relatively mild air across the UK to start with on Friday. But as we go through Friday and that cold front pushes its way southwards, the colder air slips south as we go into Saturday. Noticeably cold winds coming in as well, particularly over the Northern Isles. How cold will it be? Well, certainly this time of year, it's not unusual to see snow on the Scottish hills. And in the showers, I think we will see that colder for all. Snow on Scottish hills for sure through the second half of the weekend. Any at lower levels? Well, it's looking unlikely at this stage, but things could get interesting, particularly if you head into next week. So as we go through this week, do keep up to date with the latest forecasts. There'll be more on that in the Met Office deep dive and, of course, the, the 10 day trend. And the best way to stay up to date, if you're watching this on YouTube, is to hit subscribe.